The average human sleeps around seven to nine hours. Add to that the moments we spend in a bedroom to relax from the daily grind. That means we spend more time in it than any other room in the house. It's a sanctuary in itself, and we want it to be as cozy as possible. Here are 12 ideas brought to you by SimpHome.com for a cozier bedroom. 12. Copy one of these 10 tricks, no sew DIY curtain panels. To save on your home decorating budget, you can customize cheap, ready-made curtains, and it doesn't even require sewing. The trick is using hem tape that lets you iron on other fabric. For example, is steam a seam too, and that is a double-sided tape ideal to fuse cloth. For example, you can add a colorful decorative band of fabric near the top of a plain white curtain. Cut the strip two inches taller than you want. Fold an inch at the top edge and iron it, and do the same to the bottom edge. Next, stick hem tape across both folds. Finally, iron the band on the white curtain until they fuse. 11. Try this unique reading nook idea. A cute canopy would make a cozy reading nook in the corner of your girl's bedroom. With a small curved curtain rod available online for $15, you can mount a couple of sheer white curtains in a suitable corner. Ideally, you want it to be floor-to-ceiling to blend with the walls beautifully. Install two hooks about two feet high on both walls so that you can tie the curtains for the opening. Toss in some pretty throw pillows on a small white rug made of faux fur for comfort. Even cozier is this DIY throw blanket idea from Martha Stewart, arm knit with quick woolen yarn. Ten, make this anthropology-inspired DIY textured pillow for $2. If you just can't justify buying expensive pillows from retailer Anthropology, you can make DIY knockoffs for around $2 that are just as attractive. Start with a basic pillowcase, which can be of canvas or natural linen. Then you can go to town with some yarn and hot glue to add texture. For the fringes, wrap yarn on a cardboard strip cut to the length of the trim you want and the pillow's width. With hot glue, stick the top along one edge of the pillowcase. Do the same for the opposite edge. When it dries, cut the bottom of these loops to create the fringe. Apply more glue to the middle and fold the fringe so that all the strings are facing down. You can also glue some braided and knotted strips of yarn and some tiny pom-poms to add more detail. 9. DIY Rope Shelves to Store Your Throw Pillows For these DIY rope shelves, you can opt for melamine. They're a little over half the price of same-sized wood. 5 8 inch thick and 16 inch deep melamine boards would be enough. You'll also need 5 8 inch rope to hang them. First, cut the boards to the length of the three shelves you'll need. Next, drill 3 quarter inch holes on the four corners of these boards. The idea is to insert a long piece of rope on each side of the boards and secure them at the level you want by tying knots. Allow enough rope at the top to hang the shelves on ceiling-mounted rings screwed near the wall. 8. DIY Mason Jar Candles with Lavender Decorative candle lights will add a warm glow, and adding some dried lavender will also make the room smell lovely. First, clean all the mason jars you'll be using. Then use a spoon to line the inside walls with a few dried lavender flowers. Next, wrap the top end of a wick on a chopstick or skewer. Place it on the rim of the jar and making sure that the wick is hanging from the center. After adding four drops of flower-scented essential oils on the melted paraffin wax, pour it slowly into the jar. Add more decorative touches by tying two lavender flowers near the top. 7. DIY Faux Fur Footstool Faux fur always contributes to the coziness of a bedroom. Using it on this whimsical DIY stool will surely help. You can buy a pre-cut round piece of wood about 18 inches in diameter. You'll also need to cut 4-inch thick high-density foam to the same size. Attach the foam to the wooden base with Gorilla Glue. Cover this seat with a faux fur fabric and use a staple gun to secure it under the wooden base. For the legs, use a set of four mounting plates and wooden legs with built-in screws. After screwing the mounting plates to the base, screw the legs into the threaded center holes. 6. DIY Tool Fairy Lights You can hang these whimsical DIY fairy lights fashioned with tool fabric anywhere in your bedroom to give it a cozy and fun atmosphere. Begin by cutting enough 4-inch square tool fabric to cover the bulbs in a string of fairy lights. You'll need four for each bulb, preferably in two colors or more. 
Stack four squares in alternating colors, place them under a bulb and fold upwards, then secure them tightly with a rubber band to form the flower shape. Do this to all the bulbs. 5. Create a romantic headboard piece. Again, lighting plays a vital role in cozying up a bedroom. You can add a romantic flair to this headboard with the creative use of fairy lights. Form a square frame grid divided into nine squares using 2 by 4 wood. The sides should be as wide as the bed. Next, drill holes at the bottom of the nine squares big enough to let fairy lights pass through. Make sure to fill each section with roughly the same amount of bulbs and spread them out evenly. Cover the front with translucent polycarbonate panels secured by screws. It should provide an eye-catching and dramatic backdrop to your bed. 4. Ombre Gallery Wall Another way to make a room look cozier is by hanging a picture gallery with similar frames, but with bright ombre borders. A gallery with four rows of four pictures should be enough to liven up a blank wall. It could feature 16 of your favorite photos that give you a warm feeling. For example, they could also include shots of your loved ones, friends, and travels. The blending of ombre colors would add more character to the gallery than sticking to one. However, it would be best to follow the room's color scheme so that it won't look too jarring. 3. How to build a constellation light for a little astronomy in the bedroom You can create wall art with a light pattern that looks like your favorite constellation set on a black background. If you want more accuracy, you can print the star's exact positions on sheets of bond paper using a Tyler program. Use that as a guide to poke holes where each star would go on a piece of black foam board cut to the size you want. You can attach 3-inch sides around it using a hot glue gun to form a boxy frame that would hide all the wiring underneath. Glue the tiny LED bulbs into the holes, attach the wiring, and a battery pack with a switch on the side of the frame. 2. Watercolor Curtain Tie-Dye Alternative Since the naturally white cotton fabric is cheaper than ones dyed with a solid color or printed designs, you'll save a lot of money dyeing them yourself. However, some methods are more complicated than others, and tie-dyeing is outdated. A better alternative is the watercolor method of tie-dyeing curtains. You can use one-step tie-dye from Tulip in bottles with spray kits. Just lay down a water-soaked panel on a large plastic sheet and generously splash the dye while alternatively spraying with a spray kit with a different color. Roll it with a plastic and allow it to dry for at least 8 hours before you rinse it. Before I finish this countdown, support the channel by pressing subscribe button under the video. Keep us in your subscription tabs for more home and garden improvement ideas like this. And finally, let's close out our countdown with, lastly, number one, DIY hammock chair. You'll need two yards long and a yard wide duck canvas, so a simple seam on the narrower edges. On the longer edges, use a double stitch to sew a fold large enough for a half-inch nylon rope to pass through. Cut a 3-inch piece of 1 and 1 quarter inch thick oak dowel. Add two holes 2 inches apart, beginning 2 inches away from each end of the dowel. Tie a knot on the end of the 14-inch rope. Insert the open end on one of the far holes and through one of the long canvas edges. Tie another knot before it goes through the hole beside the first one. Leave enough rope to hang the hammock on the ceiling using durable eye bolts and spring link attachment. Then insert it on the other end of the dowel and tie another knot before it passes through the other side of the canvas. Secure it on the last hole with another knot. Conclusion Several of the solutions offered for a cozy bedroom has to do with the colors and materials used. The others are lighting ideas. The overall idea is to make the bedroom have a homier feel. A sure way to make it be cozier for you is when it reflects your personality and taste. Putting your spin on these designs will make it feel more comfortable in your bedroom than following them to a T. Make it a habit to visit SimpHome.com for more bedroom solutions and other home improvement ideas. That's it for now. Since you're still watching this video, press that like button, comment on it, or share it with anyone close to you in your favorite social media channel. Browse and follow Simp Home website for more amazing content related to home and decor ideas. And until we meet again later sometime in the future, thanks for watching.